Shalom. Well, it's time for love. Love from love, hope from hope, peace from our Prince of Peace. Uh, know that all those who will believe the Lord's word of love, uh, their light shall break forth like in the morning and their healing shall quickly arise for the Lord is rising as the sun of love to destroy all gross darkness and he has healing under his wings and righteousness of all people who have their love as a child shall go before their faces and the glory of the Lord shall surround them evermore and so know that uh, the Lord is sending his shepherd's guide unto all mankind through this channel alone for he has arisen to the good shepherd over all the flocks of man and all those shall be guided by him alone for he is the shepherd of shepherds and the Lord says that is who I am and so now tell me says the Lord who is more poor he who is content with little or he who desires much to those with worldly hunger my word, says the Lord, uh, within this word is like a barren buffet. But to those who seek my bread of life, I really offer a true feast. Know ye also, says the Lord, that this written word which comes from me, it is a reflection of the heavenly sea, even as the bright stars reflect the face of heaven, and the words of the ancient ones are etched with the hand of love unto the holy scrolls. So too is my law of love, says Christ, engraved on the hearts of his faithful few who study them well to show themselves approved. And for those refusing to believe that the words uh, are inspired of him, that they are his, he says there is no evidence that can make them to believe otherwise. But for those who shall believe upon the truth of his word through his messenger Elijah to restore all things, there can never be any kind of proof that could ever make them disbelieve that I am now, says the Lord, addressing modern man through the spirit-led servant Daniel. Uh, picked by the Most High God, the Latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12. And as uh, the Lord sends forth his teachings, uh, they are like treasures of heaven now being opened unto the sight of anyone calling upon his name of love. And all those calling upon me as the ancient of the days, so too many will now call unto me as their Lord of the age of electronics. Therefore, let the sons of men who thank speak, and let them do all good thoughts, words, and deeds, and let them inhabit heaven as their home. But let those who thank uh, speak and do evil thoughts, unloving ones, words, and deeds, they shall abide in chaos, uh, a hell created by themselves, by the emptiness of their heart, if they commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to let their love die. And many are going to say, Lord, Lord, and he's going to say, I don't know you. You committed spiritual uh, suicide. So praise God that a prophet is not acceptable in his own country. And Daniel, uh, who I am, I'm not acceptable in the whole world. Uh, the whole world is only ignoring this channel and if it does it will be destroyed and neither does a physician work cures upon them that know him but where the pains are there hastens the healer and our living great physician wants to bring healing but it, it cannot be if mankind will not heed the medicine the medicine is his word flowing anew. Him saying, I love you so much that I send you the preparation of my peace for the kingdom age, saying, I will be your God. You will be my people. 
I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember your sin. I'll write my law and love on your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore. And so the Lord says, you shall keep what revelation you have received, neither adding nothing to or taking nothing away, but be content, uh, be content with what you have, no more, no less. Uh, it's time to be grateful, even for the little, because if we're not grateful for the little, we're going to lose what little we even have. And so know that it's also been said that you shall not steal, but the Lord says unto all of us uh, that if any of us are not content with what we have, uh, that and if we desire to seek that which is another's, or if they withhold that which is just from the worker, they have stolen in their heart already, and the guilt is greater than that of one who steals of a loaf in necessity to satisfy their hunger. And so it's, it's all of our attitudes. So the Lord says, humble hearts are proud after God's refining fire of life has purged them. Let therefore his laws of goodwill burn in our souls as people seek the wisdom of his tongue of love. And then shall the Father of light's grace be poured out as holy flames of abundance to ignite fervent passion within everyone's minds and praise the Lord that that's what this is all about. It's time to get passionate. So let all of us praise him evermore. He is Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over all of us. And let us always give thanks unto him, uh, for he is light where darkness dwells not. Therefore adore ye our living Lord of love above us, beneath us, and uh, on the right hand and on the left hand before you. He is everywhere around us. He embraces us behind us, within us, and around us. Verily, verily, there is only one Lord God, united as water, ice, and fog, under and over the heavens. He is our all and all. In him alone do all things consist. He is the fountain of life and all substance. Without beginning and without end is he, and his name is Jealous. But his other names also shine with greater glory, since God is justice, he is knowledge, he is purity, and those three are one. He is also our splendor, he is the compassion, and he is holiness, and all those three are one. For he alone is our everlasting Heavenly Father, who knows the hearts of all of his children of light and their inheritance of everlasting life and everlasting love shall be evermore. And nor shall anyone ever be afraid in the evil time. Uh, and the evil time is just ahead if mankind will not switch. Even in the days of famine, uh, people will be satisfied if they are walking with their love light on. For that will cause... Uh, God's terrifying anger to be returned and stop all the craziness that is foretold just as Nineveh was never destroyed even after God said it would be in Jonah 3. Prophecy has never been told to tell the future but to change the future and for that reason he's pouring out uh, his fountain of life as he pleads with all flesh to stir up their love unto overflowing and be like little children again Yea, all the souls of earth shall breathe in his everlasting glory evermore, and we shall all be endowed with everlasting life abundantly because of his most marvelous light of lights that ever shining as one within him. And praise the Lord that um, nothing, absolutely nothing, um, can ever be prevented us if we stand together. And in this hour, it's time to celebrate that. So until next time, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. And come on back now, you hear?